A dog! <sighs> We've been over this, Bubbles. No pets. But I gotta have a dog. My life is so boring. Bubbles? <laughs> Just yesterday, we saved Townsville from those cartwheeling ninja giants from outer space. See? Boring! Owning a dog is a big responsibility, and I just don't think you're ready for it. <gasps> I'm responsible. Tell me three times I wasn't. One! Hey, Bubbles, did you turn off the water in the... Two! Keep an eye on these creeps while I go get the cops. Okie dokie, X with Yoki. <laughs> you guys are in trouble, fly. <laughs> did you guys see that? Uh-oh. Well, I got to go to the little captain's room. Keep an eye out for icebergs, Bubbles. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> but none of those involved a dog. I've got it. Look what's in the paper. Local man opens bed bug circus? No, this one. Dogs that are wanted. No experience necessary. Hey, that's the amount of experience I have. Can I do it, please? Well, I guess this could be a test. Yay! <laughs> but remember, you're responsible for everything the dog does. No worries. You can say goodbye to the irresponsible Bubbles you once knew and hello to... Responsible Bubbles the Dog Sitter. <laughs> I promise to take good care of him, Mrs. Gregory. Isn't that right, Polly? Who's a good boy? <laughs> Now, time to show everyone how responsible I am. Well, for me, ice cream is ice cream, bathroom floor or not. You are so gross, Butter. <laughs> oh, hey, girl. Bubbles, what did the dog do to the house? Uh, one thing he did is still behind the couch. <gasps> are those my Sally Bright moon slippers? Give it back. Polly wants to feel like he's an astronaut, too. I couldn't say no. You need to say no once in a while if you want him to be good. But he really likes being bad. Ow, stop, ow, go away. That dog dude has way too much pent up energy. Bubbles, if you're going to have a dog, you need to be responsible. That dog clearly needs to go for a walk. He does? You can count on me. I'm walking, walking, Bubbles is walking. Time to go, kick your knees, kick your toes. Walking, walking, Polly is walking. A pie shop? No, Polly, dogs don't eat pie. Aww. Well, I guess one piece of pie won't hurt if you promise to behave. Resume our tune. Walking, walking, bubbles is walking. A suit store? Okay, but that's it. I'm not buying you anything else. <laughs> Diamonds? Polly, that is it. I took you to the hacksaw store, the crime spree store, and the treadmill store. I'm not sure why you needed that. We were already on a walk. I've given you enough rewards and I have no allowance left. You see, Polly, there comes a time in every dog sitter's life where she must put her foot down and say no. And I did that many times today, actually. But then I lifted my foot off the ground because you were so cute and I like to pretend the floor is lava. But the lava has hardened the sidewalk and now I'm officially putting my foot down. Stop that dog. He stole my diamonds. <gasps> Steal those diamonds? No. We did. You can talk? And you're smarmy. <gasps> Are you smarmaduke? No, pigtails. And I ain't no ordinary dog. Back in the slammer, they called me Pug Faced Pauly, the greatest robber Townsville has ever seen. I was wanted for every major crime in the city, like the great bacon burglary of 82. The Mailman Muggings of 85. The Heidelberg Hot Dog Heist of 04. And the time I got into old Lady Finster's trash can. Those were the days. Old pug-faced Paulie was the king of criminals. If you're a criminal, then there's one thing I have to say to you. Bad dog. Bad dog. 